Have you ever encountered these scenarios in your classes? Elsher? No sound. No sound. I can't hear. What does that mean? Can you speak Chinese? Happy New Year! A blessed and joyous New Year to all of you. Learning the primary language of our students enables us to communicate with them effectively. So let's talk about pinyin. Pinyin is a useful tool to help us learn Chinese. But what is pinyin? Pinyin is a phonetic system for spelling out Chinese sounds. So although we cannot read Chinese characters, we can still pronounce Chinese words through it. Each Chinese character has one syllable, and usually every syllable has three parts. We have initials, finals, and tones. Initials and finals are quite similar to Roman letters, but please be careful because they don't always sound the same in English. Each initial is found at the beginning of the syllable. So let's begin. As you can see, my mouth forms an O shape. Now, this is aspirated, which means you need to breathe out some air. Let's try it again. This is aspirated again. L, d, t, n, l, g, k, h, g, k, h. Great. This group of initials is challenging to pronounce, and I'm still having a hard time mastering each sound. But let's begin. C, t. Good job! Simple finals consist of six single vowels. A, O, U, I, U, U. Let's try it again. A, O, U, I, U, U. No, it's hard to say this sound, but what you need to do is say the this sound. U. Then place your tongue at the lower part of your teeth. U. That's it. Great. Compound finals have more than one vowel. I, a, way, ow, o. I, a, way, ow, o. Ya, ye, wa, wo, ye. Ya, ye, wa, wo, ye. Yao, yo, wai, wei. Yao, yo, wai, wei. Yo is read as this one for short, and wei is read as this one for short. A nasal final has a combination of a vowel and a nasal consonant. An, un, in, yun, an, un, in, yun, yan, yun, wan, wen, yan, yun, wan. 
one. This one is written as this for short. Ang, ng, ong, ying, ang, ng, ong, ying, yang, yong, wang, wang, yang, yong, wang, wang. Great job. Now there is only one special final, and that is er. This is a special final because it can exist by itself. Chinese is a tonal language, so there are four tones and one neutral tone to remember. The four tones have tone marks on top of the vowel, and the neutral tone is different from the others because of its lack of tone mark. Now this is the tricky part because each syllable can have different tones, and when we change the tone, we also change its meaning. The first tone is a high and flat tone. Ah, uh, as you can see, I look like I'm singing. E is one. San is three. T is seven. Ba is eight. Now the second tone is a rising tone. It goes from low to a high pitch. A, ah, shi means ten. The third tone starts at a mid low pitch, then goes down and rises again to a mid high pitch. A, ah, u is five. Tio is nine. The fourth tone falls sharply from a high pitch to the bottom of the tonal range. A. Ah, Am I mad? <laughs> no, I'm not. Er is two. Si is four. Liu is six. To perfect the tones, let us say these simple finals in different tones. Ah, 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 ah. Well done! To practice our pronunciation, let us try saying these tongue twisters. Are you ready? Let's begin. Let's try it again. Great job! Let's try another one. Mama, Tima, Ma, 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 One more time. Mama, Tima, Ma, 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 Ma. Perfect. As tutors, we know how important it is to learn the hobbies of our students. This will help us get to know them, and we can also incorporate their hobbies in the lesson to make the class fun and interactive. So let's learn these common hobbies our students like doing. What is your hobby? 你的爱好是什么? Dancing 跳舞跳舞 Drawing 画画画画 Singing 唱歌, 唱歌. Next Swimming 游泳, 游泳. Playing basketball 打篮球, 打篮球. Playing football 踢足球, 踢足球. Watching movies 看电影, 看电影. It's challenging to communicate with our students, especially when we encounter technical issues during our classes. 
So here are some helpful Chinese phrases that we can use. I cannot see you. 我看不见你. 我看不见你. I cannot hear you. 我听不到你的声音. 我听不到你的声音. Can you see me? 你能看到我吗? 你能看到我吗? Can you hear me? 你能听到我吗? 你能听到我吗? I cannot understand Chinese. 我听不懂中文. 我听不懂中文. Great! Now let's learn some common phrases our students and their parents say in class. There is no sound. 没有声音, 没有声音. I don't understand. 我听不懂, 我听不懂. What does it mean? 这是什么意思? Or they just say, 什么意思? Can you repeat it? 你可以插说一次吗? 你可以插说一次吗? Next, can you speak slowly? 你能说慢一点吗? 你能说慢一点吗? I cannot understand English. 我不懂英语. 我不懂英语. English is English. Can you speak Chinese? 你会说中文吗? 中文 is Chinese. 你会说中文吗? I know it's quite tricky to learn and master everything. So here are some helpful sites for English to Chinese translations and vice versa. You can also check them in the description box. Thank you for watching! Just a reminder, don't frequently speak Chinese in your classes to avoid complaints. If you find this video helpful, you can always hit the like button. I'll see you in our next ATIP video. Goodbye!